Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader, and today I'm going to talk to you about stress and things that can help. So everybody gets stressed. Am I right? Yeah, I'm totally right. I know I'm right. <laughs> And I think a lot of different things can actually cause stress. And I think that's like one of the most difficult things about dealing with stress is that everybody's stress is different and how people deal with stress is different, right? Nobody's story is ever the same, no matter how closely we were raised or in what area or what socioeconomic status or whatever, nobody's story is the same and that is kind of beautiful in a lot of ways that nobody is written the same but with that comes a lot of struggle right there's a lot of grief in that and it's hard to navigate you know how to combat stress when what might work for you might not work for me but the point in this video is to just show you some of the options that are out there and I'm not saying that these are going to be perfect for every single person, but hopefully in this little list of things that I've compiled here, you're going to find something that you might go like, oh yeah, okay, I could probably do that. And that's really the goal here. Um, nothing about this video or really any of the videos that I do is complicated or technical or costly. Um, these are just little things that I have learned along the way that might work for you or they might not either way um it's just nice to kind of share what i know with all of you guys so i appreciate you being here so much um all right we get stressed and we get stressed from relationship stuff from crap with our kids from maybe being pregnant or not being pregnant um from world events crap's crazy out there right now we all know <laughs> maybe it is um, job related things maybe you're not happy at work or you're not being paid well enough or maybe you're struggling to find work or maybe you're being overworked right everybody's story is different <clears throat> but at the root of it we are all kind of the same because we are all human and we all go through all of these kinds of things we struggle with medications and side effects and health conditions and substance abuse and abuse and trauma and just anything and everything right our stress comes literally from everywhere for me these are the things that i have found um that have helped my stress level first of all i will say my kids being a little bit older has definitely helped my stress level. Um, my husband and I, we own our own business. That is his life probably like 70% of the time. So I'm, I'm with the kids and I've been with the kids since they were born. <laughs> so those were the kind of the decisions that we decided to make though. And I'm so thankful now seeing how, how nice and cute and lovable our kids are. Um, I'm so thankful that we decided to do what we did. But with that came a huge amount of stress. And when your kids are little, um, it just really kind of exasperates everything. So if you have little kids, please know first and foremost, like there is light at the end of the tunnel. It does get better as they get a little bit older. Um, it's not that it's different. This level of stress is different. I'm not saying that the stress goes away because it doesn't. But it's just a little bit different so my kids for me personally my kids being a little bit older has helped my stress level but in my life um any kind of stress that comes my way i kind of have learned to combat and when i say i've learned to combat it what i mean is i've taken the time to develop positive mental habits and mental patterns and I'm a definitely, I'm a realist, you know, I'm, I'm a realist. I know when crap is crap and I know when things are good and I will own it all day long. But I'm also an optimist in a lot of ways because I firmly believe that the things that we think 
and the things that we say and the things that we do, it goes out into the universe as energy and then it comes back to us in a very karmic kind of way. So for me, even in the worst of times, and we've gone through some of the worst of times in, in this house, um, yeah, you have to find the silver lining. And in every bad situation, you have to find some grain of positivity. And even when it is so hard, you just have to. You have to wire your brain to do that. And how I did that, I touched on this in another video, I think about my sleep habits. Um, every night before I fall asleep, I try to get into the habit of talking about mentally what I am thankful for. I have a gratitude list and every night I, in my head, I go through the things that I'm thankful for. And sometimes it can be as, as silly as like, I'm so thankful for hot water, electricity, a roof over my head. Um, this is my photography here. Um, the ability to take pictures. Those are the kind, it could be anything. You could be thankful for anything. Um, the breath in your lungs, you know, for anything, for your dog, for your kid, whatever you want it to be. And every day my list is different because, you know, if it's a day where we have gone through a power outage, well, that day I'm going to be especially grateful for the power coming back on, right? <laughs> but every day it changes, but you get into that positive mental habit. And with that positive mental habit, then I think it becomes easier to develop healthier, you know, um, body habits. When your mind is healthy, you can kind of try to get your body healthy too. And for me, that goes hand in hand with living less toxic, you know, trying to strip away all of the toxic crap that's in my life, the chemicals, and replacing it with non-toxic items and eating as healthy as I can. So detoxing my body. I'm making my thought patterns, my mental patterns healthier. I'm making my body healthier. Um, all of that is raising your vibration. And when you are in a place in your life where you are, I'm not going to say happy, because I think that happiness is in a lot of ways, a misperception. Because a lot of the time, contentment is is happiness. But we're kind of brainwashed to think that happiness has to be a certain, you know, maybe a little bit more ecstatic than how we normally act. But for me, I don't, I don't act ecstatic. I don't act happy. But you're darn tootin' right. I'm happy because I'm content. I'm, I'm here in this place, this house, this life that I've created, and I am content. And I Anytime a stressor comes up, my positive mental habits and my positive body habits that have turned into a healthier lifestyle, it helps get me through it. I have the energy mentally and physically to work through whatever garbage is thrown my way. However small and tiny it may be or however huge it may be, um, I am healthy mind and body, healthy enough to get through that, thankfully. <clears throat> If you, you know, are one of those people that aren't healthy enough mentally or, or bodily, but you're watching this and you're saying like, well, that's not me. Well, it can be you. Well, you can do it. You can do anything you freaking want to do, right? If you want to have a healthier mindset, start right now. Grab a piece of paper and list out as, don't do three, list out as many freaking things that you are happy or grateful are in your life. Or I don't care if it's the carpet under your feet or the pair of socks on your feet or the toenail polish. I don't, I don't care. Just think about your life and think about the things that you are grateful for, no matter how small or how big that they are. Start right now and do this every day. Maybe not write down every single thing every single day, but just start with the health, healthy mindset. When something goes wrong, don't let yourself go down the rabbit hole of negativity and kind of cast a shadow over your life of how bad everything is. So aside from the healthy thought patterns 
and the healthy body habits in terms of eliminating stress. So that's kind of, it's not really eliminating stress. It's combating stress before it even hits us. It's knowing how to be prepared when we are dealt stressors, right? This is kind of the armor that you're putting on armor essentially before the battle even begins is what I'm talking about here. Now, in the moment that a stress does hit you, remember to stay grounded. Stay present in the moment that you are in. Breathe through it. Learn to not react. That has been one of the biggest tips for me, is learning to not react. When somebody says something to you and it's nasty, because I've even gotten that here on YouTube, I've gotten that in my Etsy shop, um, I've gotten that personally from family members or from things on Facebook or phone calls even. <laughs> um, people could be jerks. And when you are doubt that, learning to not react is crucial, right? <laughs> And when I say learn to not react, what I mean is learn to just stop, take like 10 breaths and just let it out and kind of let your brain process what it was just dealt. Because a lot of the time when things get stressful, it's like our brain kind of freezes and we don't really know how to handle what we're being dealt with because a lot of the time whatever stress is coming is coming really fast and it's kind of like if like for example if you have a fear for instance if that's one of the stresses is maybe you have a fear of spiders and all of a sudden there's a spider in your room and that stress comes in and it just overwhelms your brain you know just stop and take a deep breath and keep yourself grounded and don't let yourself go out into your headspace um your headspace of phobia land, right? Stay grounded, breathe through it, and you'll stay more rational that way. Um, it helps your body too, not overreact. If you are learning to stay grounded, you're helping your heart rate not go crazy. You're helping your blood pressure stay down <laughs> too. So those are my biggest tips when it comes to stress is it's the same way that I handle a lot of things in my life, right? It's kind of preparing for it to happen before it even begins. I like to have my stress armor on before the stress ever hits. All right, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this video on stress and how to kind of prepare for it if it does happen and how to get out of it if it's happening to you in the moment. Um, you can always reach out to me if you think that um, Reiki would be, Reiki healing energy would be a good idea for you. I'm a Reiki master and a teacher and I'd love to even chat with you about it. So you can go over to my website, it's linked down below, and um, just do the free, um, free discovery call with me to see if we would work well together. But I'd love to perform Reiki for you if stress is an ongoing issue in your life. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd appreciate it so much. If you have any questions or anything, just drop it down in the comments. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here.